So now that we've volunteered our about activity to be accessed externally for the action of sharing, we need to back it up with some code. So let's open up our about activity. When we have an incoming activity, an incoming intent, how do we know if it's an explicit or implicit intent? Well, an implicit intent will provide an action. So we're going to test for the presence of an action. So we'll create a string value. String and we'll call it received action. And you can access that by getting your intent and getting the action. Programming is very easy. It's almost like, it's almost as if you were just speaking plain English, eh? So now we have this received action, if there was an action. So we test it. We say, if received action and we don't have to type it out again because Android Studio auto completes it for us is not null and for you beginner programmers that's a not equals to sign so if it isn't null it means that there is something inside it so we can comment here and say action detected uh, these comments are for your benefit, so uh, two forward slashes means that this whole line is ignored by the compiler, so you can tap in anything you want. So, action detected, what does that mean? Must be incoming Im implicit intent from another app that wants to use our activity. If you comment your code, it's a lot easier for you to, to know what you're doing when you come back to it a few days later. So you can write as much or as little as you need. But we need to know what type of action this is. So if you remember, let me just quickly flick back to the manifest. We're accepting a type text and you may be accepting many different types you might be accepting pictures as well as texts and you have to program and anticipate this so we'll test for that as well so we'll create another string we'll call it receive i received action type and to get the type you type in, you need to always access your intent. So we'll get, get the incoming intent and then we'll say get type. Simple. So let's test that with another if statement. If received action type uh, starts with text then let's write ourselves a message. We filled in the text area in a previous tutorial, but we don't need to use this anymore. I'm going to replace that message. So we can copy this line as a template for now. And we can tap in our own message. Let's do that. Let's say Action, text action, text action detected. Uh, you must have arrived via an implicit intent. Nice. Let's go back to this if statement. So 
if it isn't null, it does this. Otherwise, it is empty. And if it's empty, let's, what does that mean? It means that uh, no action detected. Explicit internal request from our own app. Oh, oh, uh, Billy no mates. No other application wants to interact. So we'll just set the text to uh, T text view set text to explicit intent detected no other apps want to play let's hit save and we we can use these now in our running app to verify where we're coming from So our application appears on the emulator. Let's try accessing that activity from within our app. And remember that was selecting the about item and that will take us to our about activity. And you can see that an explicit intent has been detected and we've displayed this, this message down here. It's down here, so explicit intent detected, no other apps want to play. Because there's no action. Of course there's no action. We've arrived from one of our internal apps. So let's exit the application and start the browser. Let's go to share page, select our app, and it says an action text has been detected. You must have arrived via an implicit intent. Yeah, excuse, sorry about the spelling mistakes. So you can see now that our application does detect whether it's receiving an, a request from internally or externally. But what about that website address? Where, where did that go? Well, I'll cover recovering data from implicit activities in the next tutorial.